In this series on how I write, design, and self-publish my books, in step number 13 of this process, it's time to create your KDP.com account so you can publish your books, ebooks, and hardback books on Amazon.com. Now, real quick, if you already have an Amazon.com consumer account, you know, where you buy products for your personal use and consumption, well, guess what? You have two choices. One. You can log into KDP.com with your Amazon.com login credentials and use your username and password for Amazon to log into your KDP.com account, which will be empty, just like this. Or you could create a separate account for KDP that's different from your Amazon.com consumer account. For example, let's say you and your family share your Amazon.com account. Well, you may or may not want them to have access to the KDP.com account that's linked to your books. But it's all up to you. Amazon is just kind of weird like this. They seem to have linked their Amazon.com account with a KDP.com account. It's truly not separate. You know, books over on the left and consumer on the right, they're kind of tied together. So you have to decide if you want to combine your personal consumption Amazon account with your book business of writing books or keep it separate with a separate email address altogether. So whichever you decide, either log into kdp.com with your amazon.com login credentials, username, and password, or Create a new KDP.com account with a different email address than the one associated with your current Amazon.com account. Now, once you create your account or simply log in, this is the home dashboard screen that you'll see every time you log in to KDP.com. Come on, let me give you a quick tour. So here we are on the dashboard of your KDP.com account. As you can see, it's empty. There's no book title here. This is where you'll go and create a paperback or a hardback book or even an ebook. So you'll do that just by clicking on this create button right here, just to let you know. But before you do anything in this dashboard, in this account, you got to address this message right here. Your account information is incomplete. To publish a book, you will need to complete this. Well, let's go do that right now. Update now, or I'll let you know this right here, this message is this area right here, your account. So before you create, add a title, it doesn't matter what you do in here. You got to go to your account when you first set up your account and you got to update this. Now they're going to send you a text message just with a security code. Do that. And when you get it, enter it so you can access this area. They will do this every time you want to go into your account. So be sure you got your phone with you, make sure it's powered, you know, make sure you can access that text message right away. And when you do, enter the code. Now, once you're inside your account area, here's your profile, here's a tab for getting paid, tax information, and your account ID. You might want to make note of that outside your account, just in case you ever have to reference it. I don't remember having to reference it, but just in case, just have it. But here you go. Which country or region do you live in? You know, what kind of business type are you? Are, are you an individual, sole proprietor, just a solo authorpreneur writing books? Or do you actually have a business, like an LLC, a partnership, corporation? Well, go ahead and make that selection here. Enter your date of birth. Enter the country that you live in. And then proceed to enter the rest of this information. Legal name, address, city, state, postal code phone number. Now, when it comes to getting paid, provide your bank information to receive electronic royalty payments. They do not take PayPal, Cash App, Venmo. No, they don't do anything. It's all direct deposit into your bank. So where is your bank? Well, once you tell them where your bank is, they'll ask you for your banking information. So where's your bank, account holder name, typically your name, type of account, Checking, savings, account number, re-enter the account number, and then the routing number. And of course, you can reference a check that you might have gotten from your bank with this account to find the routing number or the account number. 
You can also call your bank and they'll tell you. Or you can log in to your online banking and sometimes they'll have it visibly for you to see what it is. Now, when you've added your bank, go ahead and click the Add button. Okay, You can always change this. If you got a different bank account you want the monies deposited into when you make book sales, you can change it on the fly. Typically give it 30 days. So as soon as you get that new bank account, make that change immediately. And then down here, tax information. Uh, these questions will be asked once the above information is set. So once you complete the getting paid section, then this area will populate. And basically, it's just going to run you through an online, what they call a tax survey. Basically, it's a form where you'll give them your social security number or tax ID number for your business and the name of that business, address, a few things like that. And then you'll just click yes, you know, sign it digitally, and then you're done. And then this area can be saved. And then you have properly set up your account. You gave your account the full name of mm, whose account is it? That's you. How you want to be paid, you know, the book royalties, direct deposit into whose bank account. And then, of course, tax information. You set that up real quick too. That's it. This area is saved. You really never really need to go in here again unless you move or you got a new phone number or you got a new bank account or you have a new tax structure. You can always change this information too later. You know, let's say you started out as a sole proprietor, but then later on you got an LLC and you want to change the tax information so the royalties for all your thousands and millions of dollars that you're earning, <laughs> potentially, will be assigned to your business tax ID number and not your social security number. That's all up to you. Okay, great. Well, that's it. That concludes this area. So let's go back to the bookshelf. And again, once this area is complete, you know, your account information, you will be able to create and publish your first book on Amazon.com through KDP. And again, you could start with a paperback or a hardback cover book, Kindle ebook. It's all up to you. So there you have it. That's how you create a KDP account or log in with your current Amazon.com username and password login credentials so that you can then quickly update your account with all the proper profile and banking and tax information that they want. And then, yes, then you could submit your book files, the cover and the interior pages, PDF files to the printer after we add a title and take those steps towards publishing your first book or your next book. Who knows? Come on, let's check out that video next. How to add a title to your KDP.com account so you can then publish your book and then order print copies in hand. Come on, let's check it out.